one of the most elusive and most sought after animals in Africa, the greater kudu. Hunting kudu is one of my favorite things to do in Africa. Not the easiest hunt, but it's fun and it's challenging. Now, Pam Zates hunts the gray ghost in Black Death, the Cape Buffalo, on this Winchester legend. Quick, come, come, come. Quick, he's not going to stay there forever. He's brought to you. Wait, I can't see him. Even at the very best shot, I could only make out one of his horns and I could see his nose. I think I can go under his neck. OK. Go for it, go for it. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms, the guns that work. She Outdoor Apparel, her adventure starts here. Ram, there are a lot of places to go in this big wide world and the new Ram Outdoorsman can get you to every one of them. Hunter Specialties, the world's largest supplier of hunting accessories. And by Otis Technology, the most advanced gun care systems in the world. Venturing to Africa on safari, especially when that safari holds the promise of meeting iconic animals like the Cape Buffalo and Greater Kudu, is the dream of every hunter, including Pam's Aids. The big game of Africa, including the most deadly members of the Big Five, have drawn Zaits there many times before. Zaits is the founder of She Outdoor Apparel for Women and an avid hunter herself. And today, the hunt for the spiral-horned monarch, the Kudu. The kudu that was the holy grail of African hunting for no less than Ernest Hemingway, who wrote of it, I looked at him, big, long-legged, a smooth gray with the white stripes and the great curling, sweeping horns, brown as walnut meats, and ivory pointed at the big ears and the great, lovely, heavy-maned neck, the white chevron between his eyes and the white of his muzzle, and I stooped over and touched him to try to believe it. Okay, I see him. He's looking at us. There will be another kudu here in the Matitsi region of Zimbabwe. This is a game rich area of Africa to which Zaitz has long wanted to journey. I was really looking forward to hunting here at Matetsi 5. Um, it's a perfect place for kudu, buffalo, water bug. I mean, you can drive around and see all kinds of game. And when you look at the terrain, you can see why they're all here. It's one of the only spots in the area that has natural waters. It's got thick brush. Pretty much covers the gamut, all of the plains game, as well as dangerous game. And area like this is more than a hunting ground, but a model of conservation for much of wild Africa. Sustained by hunting, the land provides what the game requires. Hunting kudu is one of my favorite things to do in Africa. Um, you can hunt kudu over a water hole, which is fine, and you can definitely be successful. I prefer to do the spot and stock. It's not the easiest hunt in the world because the kudu really, really like the areas where it's very thick and typically like to be higher up. Not the easiest hunt, but it's fun and it's challenging. Hunting with Ellickson, I've known of him for quite some time and know his reputation for pHing. He's very knowledgeable and very thorough. And um, when you're hunting in Africa, your pH is really a very, very important part of your hunt. He's been hunting it for years and years, so I think we're in for a really good hunt. I had one encounter with a really, really nice big bull. There he is. Yeah, he's now looking. He's looking to see him jump. Yeah. And he finally moved around, and I moved out, and 
before I could take the shot, he was on to us and he was out of there. And you know, when you're kudu hunting, you, you can't expect to just go out and get your kudu the first day. There's a lot of attempts like that that are blown for various reasons, and that was definitely one of mine. The Winchester XP3 Supreme Elite is the complete hunting bullet. Its advanced two-stage design starts with a piercing polycarbonate tip for steady downrange performance. While the bonded lead core provides needed weight retention for deep penetration, accuracy, and knockdown power. Delivering controlled expansion and lethal results. We're hunting kudu today and I'm using Winchester's ammo. The great thing is it's perfect for Africa. These African animals, they're strong. You need a lot to take them down, but this is the perfect round. I've used it over and over again and it always works. A beautiful five. When you're hunting in Africa, one of the things that is very typical is to take one of the cruisers and drive the area. Their land is so vast that you can't possibly get on foot and go all over. On this particular day, um, we were driving and crested just on top of a ridge, and in the distance we could see a kudu bull. There were some cows with him, but we could tell that he was good. He does have long eyes. Yeah, that's a bull. So we decided to make a stop. Once we got close, we kind of had lost track of where the bull was because it was some thick mapani in there. London has incredible eyesight, and he spotted the bull. We have a cow right here. There's a really nice bull over there, but this cow has this pig. You can probably hear her. She's just making all kinds of noise. They knew something was up. We got pinned behind some trees um, for a good half hour. Finally, they decided to move out. Okay, I'm gonna ease out here. Yeah? Zaitz's hunt for a ghost goes on as she pursues more kudu through the thick cover. Will a trophy bull materialize for her out of the Zimbabwe bush? We'll find out when Winchester Legends continues. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Ram, there are a lot of places to go in this big wide world and the new Ram Outdoorsman can get you to every one of them. And by Redhead, finest in the field since 1856. She, outdoor apparel founder Pam Zates, has been chasing the drifting cloud of smoke called kudu through the bush of Zimbabwe's Matitsi region. They call the kudu the gray ghost. They, they blend in so incredibly well. That's where your trackers and your PHs come in really handy because they're used to looking at this terrain with these animals. It wasn't the perfect shot. It was a frontal shot. But at this point, this is the shot that was presented, so I was going to take it. Shotty, did you see him? He kind of yes. reared up. Put up and then yeah. the tail straight out. He was quartering towards us a little bit, so I aimed just a little bit on the point of his shoulder and let it go. I felt really good about the shot, but these animals are strong animals. They've got strong survival skills, and you just don't celebrate too quickly. We let him run for a bit, and then we tracked him. Patience is the greatest tracking skill a hunter can have. Not a lot of blood. But it wasn't long after that that they spotted the horns. He had only gone about 70 yards, and he was down. It was a great shot. And I was really thankful for that. And he was a beautiful kudu. Yay, <laughs> finally. You know, every time I walk up on one of them, they just have beautiful markings. 
and uh, it's just a, a great trophy. Definitely won't be my last cutie for sure. One more for GC. Three. I've always wanted to be able to hunt Cape Buffalo, so when we booked our hunt through Africa Hunting Safari, I knew we'd be hunting in the southern part of the Save Conservancy in Zimbabwe. Um, they have really, really nice buffalo there, so I was super excited. We just found some really nice buffalo tracks in the road, so we've just parked and we're gonna go on foot from here. It's the best way to try to sneak in on them. And we think this is a big buffalo that fits with a herd, so lots of eyes and ears. So on foot is probably the best. This time of year, the wind should be more constant now than any other time of the year. I wasn't expecting the Cape Buffalo hunt to be easy by any means. Um, I know that there can be a lot of walking, but one of the biggest things that you have to deal with is the wind. The wind can really play havoc with you, and it did on several stocks. Because of the lost to rainy seasons, uh, the vegetation here is just unbelievable. We've had a lot of opportunities because you can't see that far into the bush. We've been tracking buffalo and getting up to buffalo to within most of the times we've been spotting them under 80 yards and one buffalo we had 40 yards. Uh, on another occasion we had them at 23 yards. We would get there, uh, start glassing, trying to look for a bull. and then the buffalo herd would pick us up and they would be gone. But our, our bull was the one in front. Did you see he had hardly any hair on his back? And that's, that, that's his MO. You never find him at the back. He's always at the front and he always makes sure he's on the opposite side of the cars the whole time. But gosh, we can get on him. Yeah. But we have to have a little bit of luck on our side to get him to step away. No, yeah, there's no doubt. We had another really close encounter with um, a big bull. Uh, he was off by himself and we followed him and just as we were closing the distance, he bedded down in some really thick bush. Pam, get ready for the comes. Oh my gosh, that was close, he was close. Yeah, well that dead tree that we were looking at, I mean he was right underneath there and when you've got a lot of thick mapani like this, it's actually very difficult to judge distance. I mean he was, I could, I could see his boss turn every now and again and then I'd catch a glimmer of light just off the one curl of the horn. But we lost the chance, he was on to us and we just had to call it quits on him for that day. When preparing for big game in Africa, confidence in your rifle and precise hand-eye coordination is vital, as Bob Folkra demonstrates on his farm in Pennsylvania. This episode of Training Camp is brought to you by Otis Technology, the most advanced gun care systems in the world. Ain't no buffalo gonna get me unless he's faster than that. Well, you should at least shoot 100 to 200 to 300 rounds before you ever consider going over for dangerous game. And I try to get a scenario that may happen like the Cape Buffalo target coming at you. And the 22, I mean, anybody can spend money for 22 shells. You can get your, your eye-hand coordination. It doesn't cost you a lot of money. Once you know that gun is shooting, so you need to practice that at home. You gotta be working at all time. This episode of Training Camp is brought to you by Otis Technology, the most advanced gun care systems in the world. Looks like to you. He's behind the tree. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Winchester Repeating Arms, the guns that work. Redhead, finest in the field since 1856. She Outdoor Apparel, her adventure starts here. And by Hunter Specialties, the world's largest supplier of hunting accessories. 
From Grey Ghost to Black Death, Pam Zaitz's safari in the Matitsi region of Zimbabwe has brought her up close and personal with 1,600 pound horned wild cattle. Cattle built to kill, but the big one's still out there. We had been tracking a, a couple of herds quite a few times of, over the hunt. Um, and uh, just having problems with the wind all the time. Uh, there was one particular herd uh, that we wanted to concentrate on because there was a fantastic bull in there that we had seen a couple of times. I decided to use one of the tricks where uh, you basically just keep on the buffalo as much as possible. Even though you keep getting busted, you just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Eventually we, we, we busted them the last time, they ran off but literally not, uh, they ran off maybe m about 200 meters, we just kept on them. Little sticks, come here. He's got his thing left, you can see the hook of his horn over there. In your own time when you're ready, he's brought that to you. Can you not see the shoulder at all? Uh -uh. Not at all. Mm. Quick, come, come, come. Quick, he's not going to stay there forever. Can you see his nose? I could uh, see the buffalo very clearly. Uh, there's a large difference in, in height between myself and Pam, but uh, with Pam on the sticks and being slightly shorter than me, she didn't have a clear field of view. Quickly, quickly, quickly. And even at the very best shot, um, I could only make out one of his horns and I could see his nose. No. Barely. Okay. Uh, I can see his nose. I think I can go under his neck. Okay. Can you want me to try? Go for it, go for it. I'm, I'm going to okay, take it. Okay, in your own time. Reload, reload, reload. Okay, you got him. You got him, he's hit. And I could see his his nose was kind of camouflaged. But that I was could a tough, see, tough shot. I could see underneath. It's a tough shot, but we needed to take it. I mean, we've been, these guys have given us the run around. Unfortunately for us, it wasn't a textbook shot where um, we were hoping for a broadside shot at an animal. We had the animal uh, quartering facing to us. Pam was able to see where the neck meets the chest and uh, I gave her the go ahead. He said we have to try. We've been hunting these for days and um, we've had so many encounters and we've had so many blown stocks. Placed a very, very good shot on the buffalo. You know when you've hit something that it, the, the impact sounds different. He probably went for 70 or 80 yards and then we heard a lot of scuffling, fighting and horns uh, banging together. And a lot of the time when the rest of the herd smells of blood, they get quite aggressive and they try and push him out because now he's an attraction for predators and stuff. So they're trying to push him away. After the shot, uh, Brad was really confident that it was a good shot just by the way it sounded. These are really, really strong animals and you know, one bullet in them many times does not stop them. Oh, After about 20 minutes or so, we started walking we got on um, blood immediately. There was a lot of signs of a good shot. That is some really intense time. It didn't take long and we found him lying up in a thick piece of bush. Uh, we got Pam into position. Pam, come, come, come. There's your ball there. Yeah. Okay, he's down. But I think we need to put an insurance shot. Um, you know, like they say, it's always the dead ones that kill you. Um, so I think you should go ahead. You see that little patch of mud on him? Yes. Okay, I want you to aim for that patch of mud and put an insurance shot in, in your own time. Good one, good one. I'm gonna give him a little bit of time and then we'll go in. Amazing how strong these things are. Unbelievable, just a tank. Mm -hmm. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. Pam's buffalo uh, was a, an awesome specimen. The size of this buffalo was unbelievable. No wonder it took you him a while. You can come forward. 
a massive, massive body. Oh. Nice big bosses, uh, lots wow. of gnarling and on the bosses you can Look see where, where he's been rubbing up and down trees. He's got a lot of bark fragments in his horns. Um, he's lovely, lovely depth to him and a, a very, very nice curl on him. Uh, it's uh, probably one of the biggest bodied buffalo I've seen in a while. So I was super excited and having stalked this guy for so many days and been blown so many times, I had to finally close the deal was just amazing. Winchester Ammunition introduces the all-new Winchester.com, featuring hot new graphics, hunting and shooting tips, and improved information on all ammunition products. And if you're into ballistics, check out the most advanced ballistics calculator in the industry, and then download it as an app for your iPhone and carry it with you into the field. Whether you're a hunter, shooter, or both, when it comes to online resources, Winchester is the industry leader www.winchester.com